Good morning, kindergarten, or afternoon, or evening. I don't know when you watch this, but it's morning to me. Um, that's why my hair is still wet, because some days I don't fix my hair yet when I do our morning video. No big deal, because I'm just staying home all day. It doesn't really matter. Um, also, I wear sweats most days. It's like pajama day every day during kindergarten far away. Today is Tuesday, so we get to do letter art. We're going to do it for letter W, wa, wa. I wonder what it will be. Um, so that will be at the end of our day. Let's talk about our day. Today's schedule, class meeting, morning work, reading groups, literacy block, math, and letter art. These are kind of bumpy, there we go. Um, let's see what the date is. Yesterday was May 4th, what comes after four? May 5. Today is Cinco de Mayo. And if we were in class, we would be doing a fun unit about Cinco de Mayo. All right, so let's put a five here. And let's choose a voice. We're going to use our whisper voice today. Ready? One. Today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. And right now at my house, it is raining like crazy. Hopefully that'll stop, you know, lately, because in the springtime, it likes to be rainy and then sunny and then rainy and then sunny. I'm hoping it'll stop soon. And later this week, it's supposed to be super sunny and I can't wait for that like Friday afternoon it's supposed to be really hot so I hope I get to go outside a lot on Friday all right we got calendar done we got our weather report done got our class meeting done so um next it's time for morning work so get out your little packet that has the um, pink strip on the top of it and get ready for morning work morning work time Today is day 150. Take my next page out. And write your name at the top. Okay, let's look at our middle and ending sound. Today all our words will have an in them. Let's go around our circle to see what the beginning sounds will be. Er, f, pull, m, p, k, t, b. Here we go. First word f is our beginning sound. And an is our middle and ending sound. What word did we make? Fan. When it's hot, I like to turn on the fan. Next. P. An. P. An. Pan. I cook dinner in a pan. Ooh, this is a beginning blend. Pull an. Plan. I plan on gardening later. Plan. An. Tan. I colored with my tan crayon. Hey, those rhyme. Tan crayon. You already got that one. K. An. Can. 
Can you play outside today? Can. Mmm. And. Man. I saw a very tall man. B. And. Ban. There was a burn ban, so you couldn't have fires outside. All right, we have one left. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, got it. Er. An. Ran. He ran very fast. Okay, let's go through and say all of them. Fan. Pan, plan, tan, can, man, ban, ran. Nice job. Let's look down below. Ooh, this time we have to fill in the number sentence. So, let's start with how many we have. One, two, three, four. We have four cats. That's how many we start with. Now our directions say, take away three cats. So let's take away three. One, two, Three. How many did we take away? Three. Write your three right here. Now we need to figure out how many are left. We started with four. We took away three. How many are left? One. So our picture and our number sentence tell us Four take away three equals one. Next, let's look at the heart balloons. Touch and count your heart balloon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten heart balloons. That's how many we start with. This says take away five of them. Let's take away five. One, two, three, four, five. And write five, that's how many we took away. Now, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five left. We started with 10 balloons. We took away five of them and we still have five left. Last one is butterflies today. Touch and count your butterflies. One, two, three, four, five. Then it says take away one butterfly. Cross out one of them. We took away one. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four. So our picture and our number sentence tell us five take away one equals four. Now you can go back and color. Okay, reading group time. We're on unit eight magazine, the front cover. Two pointer fingers on that sound in the middle. This is a letter T, what does T say? T, like a turtle on a tightrope. 
Let's go around the square and say the sounds and words together. Ready? Begin. M, mm, e, the, a, m, mm, s, t, t, m, mm, said, a, m, mm, d, turtle, I'm, t, e, d, m. Nice job. Next, let's turn to page three. Three with the pencil. We're going to start by stretching and shrinking. This is a picture of um, two people together. So when they talk about what they're doing or, or things about them, they'll say we. They're talking about them together and they say we. When I talk about us in our class, I say we. Um, so when you're talking about yourself with, with someone else, more than one person, you'll say we. So let's stretch and shrink the word we. We. Wa. E. We. Let's do it again. We. Wa. E. We. Now you do it without me. Nice job. Next, this thing that might grow in your grass that you don't really want there, a weed. Let's stretch and shrink the word weed. Ready? Weed. Wa, e, d. Weed. Let's do that again. Weed. Wa, e, d. Weed. Now you do it. Good job. Let's look down at the apple column and we'll do some smooth blending. Let's smooth blend these two sounds together. Ready? Begin. At. At. Now we're going to put this sound at the beginning of it. Ready? Begin. Sat. Sat. I sat in a chair. Now we're going to change that last sound. Ready? Begin. S sad. Sad. This boy seems sad. Now let's look at the heart row. Smooth blend these sounds. Ready? Begin. C. C. I see a bird. Now let's smooth blend these sounds. Ready? Begin. Seem. Seem. You seem nice. And this word. Ready, begin. Seems, seems. This girl seems mad. So let's look over at these kids. This boy that seems sad, does he look sad? How does he look sad? Is it because he's kind of hunched over and he has tears and a, a frown and his eyes kind of look sad? Why do you think he's sad? And then let's look at this girl. This girl seems mad. Do you see she has her fist balled up and she has a frown on her face and her face just looks kind of pinched up? Why do you think she's mad? All right, down below, let's use our pencil. We're going to trace these words and whisper read them to yourself while you're tracing them. Sat. And. Sat. You can 
hear my dog snoring. There we go. So when you're done tracing, let's touch the dot and we'll read the words together. Ready? Begin. Sat and sat. Nice job. All right, let's start literacy block by looking at some of our objects that start with wa. First we have a wagon. Cute little wagon that you pull and you can put stuff in. I could put my walnut in my wagon. Walnut starts with wa. Wagon starts with wa. Or I could put my walrus in the wagon. Walrus starts with wa. Next I have a whale. Whale starts with wa. And wolf starts with wa. So I know wagon, walnut, walrus, whale, wolf, all start with our sound wa, wa. Let's get into our um, packet. Take out your literacy block. This is today's right here. We're gonna be making a little book. Um, the first thing we'll do is color it. So I'm going to pause mine right now and color it. And you can pause yours and color it. And then we'll come back together when we're done. Ta-da! Mine is all colored. Now I'm going to fold it. So I'm going to pinch my fingers at the top and flip it over. And that part that I'm pinching... I'm going to hold up and then I'm going to fold my paper like this and then I'm going to fold my paper like this. And then I made a little book and we'll use our pencil and trace the W on each page or what? Like this. Then we can read our book. W is for watch. W is for window. W is for web. W is for wagon. Nice job. So Tuesday math, um, it is another review day. We're looking at the very back, turn a whole bunch of pages. We're on page 146 right here. Lesson 30 homework. Um, let's use our red crayon. We're going to start off by just coloring and then we'll get to the next step in, in a minute. Okay. But first we're just going to do the coloring like they say to do. So our first one says color for apples. So carefully color in four of your apples. Okay. 
Then let's look over at this one. It says color two apples. Over here it says color seven apples. a lot. Down here, color one apple. That was not very much. This one, color nine apples. And then the last one says color three apples. Then we'll put our crayon away. And for the next part, we need our pencil. I think I'll get really close so you can just see the one I'm working on. Okay, so the first one up here it says, I colored blank apples. Touch and count how many you colored. One, two, three, four. Now we need to count how many apples we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are 10 apples on this tree. Guess what? Each of these trees has 10 apples. The next part says, I need to color blank more to make 10. So we know that there's 10 all together. Let's count how many more we would need to get to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. We colored four four, we would need to color six more to make 10. Let's look at this apple tree. How many apples did we color? Two. How many more would we need to color to color all 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We would need to color eight more. Two and eight make 10. Count how many apples we colored here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I colored seven apples. How many more do we need to color to make 10? One, two, three. We know that seven and three make 10. Down below. We colored one apple. How many more do we need to color to make 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need to color nine more. One and nine make 10. This one. Let's touch and count how many we colored. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We colored nine apples. How many more do we need to color to make 10? One. 
And our last tree, how many apples did we color? One, two, three. How many more would we need to color to make 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Three and seven make 10. All right, alphabet art time. So get out your little book from inside your packet and we're gonna go a whole bunch of pages. Way, way up to W, the W, W, W page. We're gonna start by making a smiley. Then I'm gonna draw a short line like this and stop. And then I'm gonna make a little smiley right there. And then make a line to connect it to the other side. Now I'm gonna go out a little bit on this side and a little bit on this side. And I'm gonna make another smiley. Then I'm going to make some ovals. What does it look like we're making? It's a piece of watermelon. Watermelon is so yummy to eat in the summer when it's really hot out and then you can spit those seeds. That was a really quick one today, wasn't it? So you can color, and usually on a watermelon, this part out here, the rind is green, and then the inside is red, and then the seeds are black. So you can go ahead and color yours, and you can color your W and your word watermelon.